Hello, I'm John Walton, and welcome to the Runway Girl Network PAX X Minute, in association with Aviation Gate. It's a bad week to be an economy class passenger, as Cathay Pacific confirms that it is moving to ten abreast Boeing 777 aircraft with extra small seats, and British Airways cuts its entire complimentary in-flight service on its European network. Cathay's Tenebres move, which RGN discussed in August, creates a large gulf between the different aircraft it operates. The A350 has some of the widest seats in the sky, while the 777 will have some of the narrowest seats operated by any full-service carrier. Resetting passenger expectations will be a big challenge for Cathay Pacific. Meanwhile, British Airways' long-vaunted and much-advertised complimentary bar service, or even just a simple cup of tea, has been slashed as the airline looks to compete with Ryanair and EasyJet. Working with another ancient but beleaguered British brand, Marks & Spencer, BA will serve a similar selection of sandwiches, drinks and snacks to other European low-cost carriers. In some ways, it's a wider choice than before, where passengers had the choice of a sweet or savoury snack. But the way BA's team has presented the move to its customers hasn't gone down well. Passengers feel patronised, and they see through the choice and enhancement based on customer feedback line. It would be one thing to hand out free cups of tea or coffee like other full-service carriers do, while launching premium food for purchase. But nobody's fooled by the argument that passengers are enthusiastic to pay for a cup of tea they used to get for free. After slashing legroom and comfort with the BE Aerospace Pinnacle Slimlines, and moving to a complicated and unmixable fare structure, should BA just bite the bullet and rebrand its European network as Vwelling UK? That's all for this week. Follow us on Twitter at ThatJohn and at RunwayGirl, keep up to the minute with the PaxX hashtag, and join us next time for the Runway Girl Network PaxX Minute. Runway.